we're here at Silver Dollar City, and this is the way to start a day. Ooh, oh my goodness. Mm, I wonder if those are apple turnovers. She doesn't remember. No. <laughs> Hopefully you have a system of marking them before you put them out on the shelf. Ooh, they're not making cinnamon rolls right now. No! Maybe we missed the cinnamon rolls. Let's go see what they have in the case. Oh, they're eclairs. I want a cinnamon roll. Well, we're not getting in there yet, but we're seeing what they have. Oh, look at those monster cookies. I want a cookie. Me cookie monster. Let's go check out the other roll. Me cookie monster. Me want the cookie. Oh, those are some big cinnamon rolls. Look at the cookies. They're like twice the size of the others. Okay. Mm. So this is for our garlic parmesan bread. Because if I put the garlic on the table, then it, my table tastes like garlic, smells like garlic, and then that goes into my cinnamon rolls, and most people don't like cinnamon and garlic together. So I put it on a sheet tray while my dough is proofing, and then I put it into the pans so the garlic doesn't ever touch my table, and then we don't have garlic cinnamon rolls. Yeah, you don't want garlic cinnamon rolls. No. Yeah, that would be disgusting. It, it is weird. I've done it. Because the first time I put it on the table and then made cinnamon rolls right after, they did not turn out cinnamon. I had to throw away a couple of drinks. Yeah. So I have sourdough bread sitting on the table right now. That's what oh. down there. Flies, I do. They like to come through my door, even though I have a door screen on there. So I've got my cinnamon raisin bread in the back. That's sourdough right there. It's resting. That's why she has the cover on so the flies can't get it. The flies, it also keeps that heat in to keep it warm. And the yeast works when it's warm. So yeah, they, they don't stay off. Uh, so my cinnamon raisin will be or my raisin bread will be hitting right here in a few minutes. And then we'll be making cinnamon raisin bread out of it and Dutch apple. So it's gonna be a big ball of white dough with raisins in it. Well, how much longer are you gonna make it? What? How much longer do you have to make it? Well, it's being made right now in my giant mixer, which you could use as a bubble bath. It's my big mixer is this big, back there. You could climb in and still have room to play. Oh, you could, you could. So, I, I would do the mixing before you get in to make the bubbles. Yeah. Then you can get in. There you go. That's so, what a great mom does. They turn it off before you eat. So, but, in other words, I'll get shredded up. Smithy. Well, you'd be bruised. Yeah, because my mixer's a little and it doesn't stop for anything. So, and then my other baker will be making cinnamon okay. rolls here in just a few minutes. She's going to make cinnamon There's rolls. There's flies. Yes, and we know. I've got flies everywhere. What, did she send money? No. What? Hold on. Okay, what are we getting? Two cinnamon rolls. Okay, two cinnamon rolls, please. Why not? I want to chow in. Okay. Okay, I'm eating. Okay. Pick it up. Since when have you guys become so sophisticated? that you eat your cinnamon roll with a knife and a fork. Hmm? Or two forks. How's it taste? How's it taste? Delicious. Mm. Brother, that is very unmeasurable. I don't know what I'm saying! Brother, that's horrible. Don't eat like that. No, you've got bad manners. I have no good one. Mm -hmm. Eating with a fork, such bad manners. No, he's just crazy. Why take so long?
eating a cinnamon roll with a fork? He's a madman. He's using two forks. He's dissecting it a piece at a time. Oh my. I'm enjoying it. Well, he's showing. Okay. Bye, guys.